Today is the big day. Seven months ago, I specced a car with Ferrari, and that was literally a dream coming true. And today, today I'm picking it up. I'm gonna show you absolutely everything of this car. We're gonna tell you everything up at the end, and then you're gonna see how much a brand spanking new Ferrari actually costs, including how much it's gonna cost every month, because I couldn't afford to pay this in one go, but you'll see that at the end. Currently wearing a very important watch for me. Watch I also wore when my son was born. This is the Audemars Piquet Royal Oak, reference number 26331ST. I haven't been able to wear this watch in a long time because, listen, I was a bit overweight. I'm still a wee bit overweight, a wee bit, f me. I still can lose about 40 pounds, but that's not the point. I can finally wear it again. And this is a special, special moment. Good to see you, buddy. This is, this is the gentleman that went to Italy with me to spec this mad car. For my sense, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> we was, did that well. was good. We did well. It's really cool to see from basically a computer game, because it was a computer game, nearly. It was, yes. Like, the graphics, to how we picked every part, and basically we picked every part. Masterpiece. <laughs> not, there's nothing that's missing. Yeah, nothing is missing on this car, luckily. So, very, very excited to share that with you guys. Like I said, this is absolutely nuts. This is dream sh coming true, I'm not gonna lie. Never did I think I would ever drive a Ferrari in my life, and now I've actually specced my first ever new Ferrari. I've done it, we made it happen, thanks to the guys at Charles Hurst. They're unbelievable. I specced my Ferrari in Italy, right? At the factory, with the factory atelier, but you can also do this locally at your dealer. In this case, we're in Charles Hurst, so you can actually spec your, your own Ferrari here. These are all the letters, so for the seats, etc. The wheels, these are not all the options, by the way. This is to give you a bit of a feel. What kind of color, what kind of seat belt, more colors here, what kind of steering wheels as well here, look at that. This is more SF90 steering wheel, to be fair, you can't really put that in the A12, but unbelievable. What kind of seats, the comfort seats, the carbon seats. I understand that this is all nice and beautiful and sporty, but if you use your car properly like I do, driving and put miles on it, the carbon seats are not really something that I would recommend, but it is all up to yourself. Look at that, that is insane. That's insane. Make your favorite as well. Oh, tequila, let's get stuck in. Guys, thank you so much. That is oh, insane. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. That is the car we specced. I never thought it would be possible for me to drive a Ferrari. And whenever three years ago I purchased this car, it was like a dream coming true. I remember me coming into this showroom, maybe six, seven years ago, where I said, one day I'll walk in and I'll buy a Ferrari. I actually said, one day I'll walk in and buy a new Ferrari. Remember that? Clear. What car were we driving at the time? You were down looking at a GTC4 Lusso. Yes. And you said, I'm going to own that someday, I'll be back. Ah, here we are. That was it, that was insane. And that's about seven years ago. During COVID, I have been able to get some funds together to pay a deposit on this car. And I was able to afford this every single month. When I bought this, I always said, I can't afford to keep a Ferrari in the garage. I want to drive it, I want to experience it. I drove this car to the south of France, to Monaco, to Nice, to Saint-Tropez, to the south of Spain, Marbella. I drove this car to Italy. I drove this car everywhere. It's probably the most reliable car I've ever had. And that's that's a bit random to say, to be honest. This, however, is my first ever new supercar, my first ever new Ferrari, something that I chose to absolute perfection, every detail, and I would actually say and argue that this is the perfect car. Don't get me wrong, I am really, really sad to see this go, but it's being replaced by something that is even more crazy. There's even some minor details. I and dents and stuff. This is what I always say with watches, right? With cars, it's a little bit different. This is maybe me justifying damage. But this is this was in a parking garage in Nice. I scraped the carbon fiber on a on a on a wee. What do you call that? On a curb in a parking garage in Nice. Scars <laughs> are the best memories. The scars are the best memories. This is what I say with watches. Scratches are just memories. This is well used. Oh, I loved this so much. I'm I'm really really sad to to, to see this go. To be honest. So Junior's gonna pull the curtain, and then the moment is there. For me, what I think is the perfect combination, the perfect spec. And let me tell you one thing, one hint. There's a no f red at the car at all. You ready, love? Are you gonna pull the curtain? Yeah? Come on, then we need to start in the back. We're not starting in the front. Alright, okay. I always start in the back, I love it. Here, hold. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is unbelievable, look at this, Johnny. 
You see the glitter? Yellow, yellow. You see this? That is unbelievable. Why is everyone so quiet? What's going on here? What do you think, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a big difference with the super fast in the front. There's all sorts of sensors here, right? Aesthetically, it's mm, aesthetically I'd rather had it different, but I just wanted the car to be proper. Full option, no bullshit. Wow. Wow. Just amazed. The amazing thing about this GTS is, is that although it does look like a coupe, it has a retractable roof. I'll tell you at the end of the video how much this cost a month, and we need to make that back. Otherwise, I'm there you go, that's the first test you fit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. We need to give her a name, though. The super fast is called the Dark Horse. And because this is black and yellow, I thought this would be appropriate. Mia Khalifa. Mia Khalifa? Mia Khalifa. Black and yellow. Wiz. Wiz Khalifa. You're spending too much time on the sites. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the details. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Proper V12. I have the spec list here, and I'm gonna go through most of the specs with you guys. There's literally a f ton of ads on this. It's two pages long. It's nearly half the price of the car. So the basic, including VAT, just the car, just the shell, the actual price of the car is 296,784 points. So that's like nothing. That's, added. Then, then there's nothing added. You know how much I added on specs, what? right? In total. <laughs> <laughs> Pounds and 60p. Just on add-ons? Just on add-ons. <laughs> That's insane. But it needed to be the perfect car, so there you go. Let's switch her off and go through every spec with you guys. Or at least the majority, because if I do this, we're still filming till tomorrow and this video is going to be really boring. First and foremost, it's the actual paint. You call this paint Nero Galaxy. And you know why it's called Galaxy? Because it's filled with stars. Exactly. And it's got nothing to do with Samsung. Just saying. Samsung? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Samsung. phone. The uh, Samsung, the phone. They say three fourth layers of paint. So they have three or four layers of paint. It's a four layer paint. This is a four layer paint. The paint cost 20,030 pounds and 40p. Don't forget about the 40p. Yeah, 20,000. Right, so that's the paint. Four layers of paint. How insane does that look? Call it Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter. Richard, can I ask you a question? 5,958 for matte black forced racing wheel. Absolutely. That's this, that's no, the wheel. That's sexy alloys oh, that's the wet, the alloys. So the four alloys combined cost 5,958 pounds, but it's worth it. Front bumper insert carbon fiber. That is this, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, we replaced the black plastic, right, that was normally here, with carbon. Makes the car, of course, significantly lighter, which I really, really need. That trim cost 4,109. Just for that? Just for that, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Carbon fiber, under door cover. Very, very important one, because it costs 6,060 points. What is that? So that, that strip and the strip on the other side. That's about 6,000 pounds. The rear diffuser and the rear bumper side cost combined 8,000 pounds. What do you see here? All carbon fiber. This, this, this whole thing, plus this, it's 8,000 pounds. And normally, and please correct me if I'm wrong, Richard, this would have come in plastic. Yes, a black composite, yeah. Do you know what? I love the carbon on it, and it should be carbon in every way possible. You don't f try to save money on that. Fact. This is an important one, right? I wanted the comfort seats rather than the carbon seats. I genuinely believe that the carbon seats are horrendous, right, in this car. And I know what, what other people think, ah, they want carbon because it's racy and whatever. Load of bollocks. This is an A12 GTS. This is a Grand Tour. This is a car you drive for miles. You want to enjoy that, but you also want a little bit of comfort. And these comfort seats are absolutely insane. And as you know, i driven my super fast to the south of Spain, to Italy, France, and it literally Actually, honestly, drove like it's a normal car if I wanted it. If I wanted it sporty, if I wanted the suspension to be stiff, I was able to set that. But the most important thing is, is your sitting position, is your back, the full comfort seats, and being electric. So the electric comfort seat cost 5,341. And honestly, that is a no-brainer. Carbon fiber, driver zone LED. What is that? Carbon LED steering wheel, your paddles, and then this section. Oh, carbon. It cost 4,622. Yeah. Then we have the dashboard insert. Cost exactly the same. So that's the rest of the dashboard, right? So that's including the middle console and everything on the left. Right, all that carbon there. 
What is ADAS full package? Advanced driver assistance systems. So, oh yeah. So that's your drive rates. When I ticked the box and said I want it all, I just realized after I was like, why the f do I want lane assistance? Like the car to beep whenever I go mad, but it has driver's assistance. And I wasn't that city back. 4,726. <laughs> you see this airbrushed logo? Yeah. This is all hand painted. That logo cost 8,731. Now, there is different options. Can I show you that, right? So you can opt also for just the Ferrari logo, right? Just this, which will set you back about two and a half thousand pounds, right? But it's small. You can also say, I don't want a logo on the side at all. Purists actually would say, I don't want a logo on the side, so it won't cost you anything. But I really, really wanted the proper Big Daddy logo, and therefore that sets me back 8,731. See the size difference? It's crazy. This is like two times the size. You're paying for art. Yes, but beautiful art. Italian art, right? Beautiful stuff. Do you see these yellow lines here? Yeah. And you see the yellow lines on the bottom and around here, right? And of course on the pedals. For me, that really shows the shape of the car. I really, really love that. And the black and yellow is perfect. The Dreamline only on the bonnet. Take a guess how much that cost. Only on the bonnet? Only on the bonnet. 500 quid. A little bit higher. 1,000 quid. 7,190 pounds. just here? Yes, that's just there. But that really shows the accent of the car. This is all done by hand, mate. Very, very happy about Seven that. Grand for that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then the, the funny bit is, you know how much this line then cost underneath? Which one? This one? Yeah. The rear and the back. How much? Combined? 4,930. <laughs> That's insane. It needs to be on that car. Last but definitely not least, this is something that the CEO of Ferrari had to approve. Is this painted. 812 GTS on the side. It's not an option you can choose, by the way. And take a guess how much that cost. I don't want to know. 2,568, but it's on both sides. The car itself cost 296,784. All the options combined, 133,017 pounds and six. So in total? In total the car costs 432,461 pounds and 60p. That's half a million dollars, you know. I genuinely, genuinely don't think there's another GTS like this in the world. I have the finance document here because I said I couldn't, yes, I couldn't afford it in one go, right? Very important. Ferrari always gives you an option to finance the car if you want to, and I must say this is done all right. So the car cost 432,461 pounds and 60p. I've put a deposit in of 125 pounds, right? 125 pounds? No, sorry, 125,000 pounds. <laughs> right so that's what I paid and the balance meaning what I'm paying every month is three thousand seven hundred twenty four pounds and thirty nine P but I've already paid the first month in the deposit am I correct incorrect you will pay your first payment in a month's time all right sorry <laughs> can we not get that discount no? <laughs> <laughs> from the first time I walked into the showroom seven years ago to where we are now I, I just want to say a big thank you it's not so bad. Uh, Genuinely, mate, genuinely. The guys at Charles Hurst have brought me to Italy, they've brought me to other places, Millbrook, literally raised in the SF90. This, this is a dream coming true, and I'm very grateful. No, we're delighted for it. So uh, happy. And a beautiful box and gifts for Nico Jr. They've been here from the start of my business when I said, I'm gonna make it happen. And luckily, I kept my own word. I promised myself to do it, and today is the day. I'm very, very happy. By the way, I can highly recommend reaching out to Richard or the team if you're looking for a Ferrari. Charles Hurst in Belfast, and you can buy a car when you're in UK mainland, by the way. Absolute legends. But now it's time for me to drive that car. Let's get it right. Let's, let's get it right. Let's get stuck in, son. You're right, it is Wiz Khalifa. Fair enough. Come on, son, let her have it. Need to hear this thing. Oh, that's all right, son. Love it. Me and Khalifa is away. Driving my own new car. Oh. It sounds so much different with a roof open. Like, I'm used to the super fast with a closed roof. How beautiful is that sound? How does it drive? Nearly identical to the super fast. It's very comfortable. This is a V12 supercar, and it's so comfortable. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. There you go, son.
What do you think? Unreal. Can you imagine the street fight? It would literally break the windows of that car. Go! Hey, Shadehawk! 